Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to a Tuesday edition of What's for Lunch. I'm your host, Larry Hers, and today, making his third appearance on the show, but first time with this concept, we have Jared with Afu. Welcome. Thank you. So we've done a lot. He's a big friend of the show and OCN Eats. We filmed for Restaurants Near Me, we filmed Grabowski's, we filmed Campfire, and we just recently filmed Afu. That'll be coming out soon. And then for here, you brought your AJ's Pit Barbecue. Mm -hmm. Uh, we didn't discuss, like, do you care that I'm going to name all your restaurants? No, please. Okay. Right. AJ's Pit Barbecue, and then you were here with Bud Long, and yeah. now with Afu. Cool. So for people who haven't seen you before, don't know, give them a little history of you, and then Afu. Sure. So I'm Jared Leonard. I am the owner of SSC Hospitality Group. We own Concepts in Chicago, where I'm from, and in Denver and Evergreen, where I live now. So I've been here for five years. Actually, yesterday was our moving anniversary, so... Five year Colorado, and I'm halfway to being a native. <laughs> so I'm here now 28 years, and now I feel like a native. Yeah, you're like a Native American. <laughs> You've been here a long time. Uh, I mean, when I, I was just in New York, and I felt like a tourist in New York, which I'd never felt like before. I'm like, I'm like I guess I'm a Denverite now. Yeah. Uh, what, what, have you always been in the restaurant business? As in my adult life, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been an entrepreneur for a long time, been doing restaurants for about 13 years. Back in Chicago, started out with barbecue, and we have our barbecue here now, down in Denver, AJ's Pit Barbecue. Texas-style barbecue, wood-fired, wood-smoked meats, uh, scratch sides, just good southern food. And then the Budlong Hot Chicken in Chicago is Nashville Hot Chicken. And uh, we had a store here for a little while, but we flipped concepts, so we now have just five of those in Chicago. And then we have Campfire, which combines my love for wood-fired barbecue with wood-fired pizza. Mm -hmm. So, so how do we get to Afu, and what is Afu? So Afu means the fire in French. Uh, my wife is Canadian, and we were tasked with coming up with an international concept for a food hall here in a town called Zeppelin Station. That's what brought us to Denver. Okay. I lived in Colorado 20 years ago as a young 20-something-year-old uh, living in the mountains, and it always said that when I settled down and started my life, I would love to wind up back here. So. Uh, six restaurants, a wife and two kids later, we met some people from Denver, the Zeppelins, who were doing this food hall, and they said that they really wanted an internationally themed restaurant. My wife is Canadian, so I thought, well, let's, let's kind of think tank that and figure out, what, see what can come from my love for barbecue and southern food with her Canadian heritage. And uh, we went up to Montreal and tried the smoked meats through Montreal, and Montreal has this smoked meat that's like pastrami in New York. It's just like melt in your mouth, smoky, delicious goodness. I've heard it's a great food town. Yeah, Montreal. So you've never been? No. Highly recommend it. Don't go in the winter. So that's okay. my one piece of advice. And then go to Joe Beef. Uh, go to the old school places. I mean, the new places are great too, but there's a lot of okay. food history there, that, much like New York City, that the old school places are just full of character. And that's what really I've always found stands out with my food is I design a restaurant and the concept and the menu around storytelling and food history and culture. And what's the story you're telling at Afu? So Afu is a uh, smoked meat, so it means the fire in French, and it's okay. very much like a Montreal-inspired French restaurant. So it's a brasserie, uh, which just means brewery, but in Europe, you're gonna find brasseries that are like lunch and dinner restaurants, not just like a steakhouse restaurant. So we serve beer, but we also mostly serve wine. Um, we, are, we have won a, a word of excellence in Wine Spectator magazine for our wine list. It's 100% French wine list, pretty extensive, and uh, small plates and steak and a wood fire grill. Where are you located? We are located at 81 South Pennsylvania, yeah, South Pennsylvania Street. Pennsylvania and Bayard, right across from my first restaurant, Carmine's on Penn. And you have, it's like a two-parter restaurant because you got your morning part and yeah. then your evening part. Yeah. Explain that. And that's something fun that we did on uh, a couple months ago. We didn't change chefs, but we sort of turned the corner and being more small plates. We, we had about a, a 160 bottle wine list in this little 38 seat restaurant. So we thought, found that that was a little bit too big. So we shrunk our wine list down, we added more shareables to the menu, and then we added a breakfast part. Um, the space, if you ever visit it, which I hope you all will, and I know Larry has, is a, is a beautiful space. It's a very relaxed design aesthetic, uh, great location, easy to get to. The parking's not great, but if you live in the neighborhood, and you want to come hang out somewhere and work on your computer, we have free Wi-Fi, and we offer pastries from Reunion Bakery, who's a collaborator with us that we know from the source, where we have Grabowski's Pizzeria. So we have 
over there. We brought some with us, the Gruyere and ham croissants. We've got a Nutella croissant. We've got some, um, um, what are those little circles called? Pandicata, I think they're called. They look yummy. They're really good. So you do, you're do. you basically food. like a coffee shop in the mornings, yep. all right? Yeah, we have La Vaza coffee machine. So all your traditional coffee drinks, espresso, latte, macchiato, uh, cortado, americano. And that's from what, 7 to 12? 7 to 12, yep. And then with the pastries and, you know, just sort of really, I, I think in the winter that's going to be a really fun spot to hang out. And during the day it's cold outside and snowy and people are looking to go out somewhere and, and it's somewhere warm and somewhere that has a nice environment. That's us. It's a stunning restaurant. It is gorgeous. It's like the, I don't know, what do you, how do you describe the decor? I mean, it's, it's plush, it, it's elegant. Yeah, but it's relaxed, you know? It's like lounge seating, yes. so you're it's not It's like a living there. room. Yeah, so like, we'll, we dress up and we'll throw a sport coat on, but you don't have to wear anything nice when you come there. Yeah. It's very approachable. All right, then let's get on to the evening section. Yep. So the kind of food that we got here, we'll start with this guy here. Since That's our salmon tartare. So that's salmon, uh, tartare dressing, capers. It's a really traditional dish, uh, super tasty. We put it on sourdough toast points. We've got some small charcuterie over here. And the thing about the restaurant is, yes, you know, they have the, the couches where you can absolutely eat at, but you have tables too. If, we do. For people who want to eat at a, at a regular table. Yeah, so we've got a mix of seating. We've got the lounge style seating as well as traditional just like uh, table seating. And then we even have a small bar. We've got a really well-themed cocktail menu. Um, Everything again is very curated specifically for quality and, and you know, um, from the cocktails to the wine to the beer to the food. I had this the other day, it was delish. Tell them what this is. That's our cassoulet. So, that is a very, very old fashioned sort of French stew. So, it's got beans and some pork confit. It's like a pulled pork basically shredded in there. And then we've got a chicken confit on top with uh, uh, some sausage there. So, that's a really hearty dish. I think, again, a lot of this stuff in the winter is going to be just terrific when it's a cold day outside and you're looking for some really, you know, gut-warming, soul-filling food. I think this is meant to share, I would think. Absolutely. A lot of this stuff is meant to share. I got some traditional. So that's our croque monsieur. So that's like a ham and cheese sandwich, to put it simply. And then we cut it into quarters so you can share it again at the table. And then uh, the croque madame is we put a soft-boiled egg on top of that. And then we cut it after that, it, it, before we put the egg on top and then we cut it so you get a little bit of runny yolk on there. It reminds me of a Monte Cristo. Yeah, that was one of my, my favorite sandwiches. But did you ever go to Bennigan's and have that at Bennigan's? Yes, they, they did, did make a good one. They did, they did a good one. And so it's very much like that, yes. And you didn't bring the best thing you make, whether you think it's the best thing you make, it is. The is, poutine? Is the poutine yeah. with the add on. Tell them about that dish. So the poutine is, is really where we started at Zeppelin Station. So it's got the veal demi-glaze gravy on top of frites. Our frites are made in a very specific method. And we tried a hundred different ways to make a good Belgian frite. And we had to soak the potato, cut the potatoes fresh, soak them in water to get some of the starch out, boil them in water. And in between all these processes, you're cooling everything down on sheet trays. So very labor intensive, takes up a lot of space. But what you're left with is this pillowy, soft inside, crispy outside Belgian frite. And then we top it with the veal demi glaze, glaze gravy and cheese curds. And then on top of that, you can get the smoked meat. You, I mean, you have to get the smoked meat. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's like, why bother? You don't get the pastrami. You got to get the pastrami. Well, Montreal smoked meat. You know the difference between Montreal smoked meat and pastrami? Uh -uh. Well, long ago in Montreal, they were using briskets to make their smoked meat. And in New York, pastrami was made from beef belly, from navel. Now everybody makes it with the brisket cut, yeah. more traditionally, but two, three hundred years ago when Europe started immigrating over to the U.S., half of that European culture went north to Canada and settled in Montreal, half went down to New York, and they both brought that, that curing and smoking of meat culture with them, but in Montreal, for whatever reason, they used the brisket to make the Montreal smoked meat, and in New York, they used the beef navel. So. Give them an idea of a couple of the other entrees they might find if they come in. So we have steak frites, again, that... Uh, that Belgian frite and we've got uh, two different types of steak that we offer. We've got the tenderloin and then we've got uh, strip steak and we rotate that out and we, we're cutting everything in house so the steaks are really high quality. They don't have a lot of fat on them. Um, we're going to rotate some bison in there too because just, just trying to get some Colorado into the menu. Um, what else? We've got some traditional desserts, uh, creme brulee. We've got some chocolate desserts. Um, and what, am I, what else am I missing? Basically, you can go to this place for any occasion, really. Obviously, you got the breakfast part, 
uh, coffee shop part, and then the, you can come, you know, for cocktails or just grab a bite or for full dinner. Yep. Uh, you take reservations? We do. Where do they work? Ofubrasserie.com, which okay. is impossible to spell. A U F E U Brasserie.com. Is it, you're not on open table, it's something else, right? No, we just, uh, seven rooms is the engine that we use. So yeah. go on there and make a reservation or call us up and we'd be happy to book and then it for you. Tuesday through Sunday. Yep. Uh, Breakfast and dinner. And so the dinner starts at five? Four. For cocktail hour starts at four. And then we'll serve you food from four to five. Okay. Um, typically we have the whole menu ready by then, but we open the doors at four to get people in there to try to get some afternoon kind of cocktail hour. Um, five o'clock to 10 o'clock is our official dinner service. Can't recommend this place high enough. It's stunning. Everything I've eaten there has been phenomenal, especially the poutine, which I was a little pissed that he didn't bring me any today. It doesn't really travel, but I would have eaten it cold anyway. Anything else before we go? No, just come check us out. We're at, it's, it's a small, intimate restaurant. We'd love to fill it up with people, and we'd love to see you guys there soon. Yeah. Well, I'm going for this. Always a pleasure, buddy. All right, thank you. Uh, we'll be back, actually, tomorrow. We got Shay Maggie. Have you heard of Shay Maggie yet? I have. I've been there. Yeah. Shay Maggie's coming on the show tomorrow. Okay. Let's eat. That's a damn good Monte Cristo. Cook one, sir. <laughs>